What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. It's a sunny Saturday afternoon here in Philly, Ohio. I'm hanging out in the beer shed, getting ready to try a new beer. Now, as many of you know, if you watch the program, I am not a fan of IPAs, uh, but I watched a great video the other day. If you haven't seen it yet, it's on Shane's Craft Beer Review. Um, he actually did a, a really witty editing kind of job and did a, a one called Beer with Buddies in which he put in clips from me, uh, Mad Dan from the Angler's Grog, and then also Drew from Beer for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks. And it was really a, a cool video. So if you want to see something like that, go check it out over on this channel. Um, Shane's got some cool videos himself. So it's probably worth a, a subscription over there and, and check out his videos. But in one of the clips, Drew kept saying, try something different. And I thought to myself, why not, right? I don't like IPAs, but I got to give them a shot. I can't just drink stuff I like all the time. So I picked this one up, and it's called Big Little Thing Imperial IPA from Sierra Nevada. Now, um, all things being equal, I don't mind Sierra Nevada's pale ales and a lot of their IPAs. I think they do a pretty good job. Um, so even though I'm not a fan of the style, I tend to like theirs. So I'm holding out a little bit of hope that I might like this, even though it is, um, you know, I guess from the out outward appearance, a big IPA. So this one is 9% ABV, 45 IBUs. They had a little description um, of the beer itself. It said, make way for big little thing uh, on Imperial IPA, flexing a full malt body, restrained sweetness, and a tropical hop flavors of mango, grapefruit, and tangerine. Okay, sounds good. I also found on Beer Advocate, it listed all the malts and the hops that went into this. So for the malts, it was pale, wheat, and Munich. For the hops, it's every hop, essentially, just every hop. It's Magnum, Crystal, Chinook, Idaho 7, Columbus, Cascade, and Mosaic. So, 8 billion hops. I have a feeling this will be quite hoppy. All right, let's give it a shot. Ratings-wise, it does real good. Untapped it at a 3.78 with about 30,000 reviews. Beer Advocate at a 3.98. Um, and the aggregate score was an 89. Very good. Now, it was kind of interesting on Beer Advocate... There were quite a few reviews that were kind of critical of this and said it wasn't good whatsoever. Um, obviously, there are a lot more that said it was, but I found that a bit odd. Usually, people kind of jock Sierra Nevada, whether they're good or bad, and say it's good. So, I guess it was interesting to see some of those opinions. All right. Color here. I got the chart. I'd probably say this is um, deep gold, maybe verging on amber. It has a little bit of an orange hue. There's a fair amount of carbonation in there. They look like kind of big bubbles, too. But a fair amount of carbonation moving there. Head looks pretty good. We're dealing with probably at least two fingers. Nice white frothy head. Looks nice and, and chunky. Let's give it a sniff. The nose is just citrus. Um, you pick up all those citrusy hops. Like it said, mango, grapefruit, tangerine. I would probably say tangerine is what I smell the most. It's like an orangey kind of citrus smell. Yeah, smells pretty decent. Let's give it a shot. Wish me luck on this double Imperial IPA. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, I didn't think I would. As to the body, I'd say this is kind of medium, virgin on thick. It's a bit, uh, a bit viscous. Um, the taste, you get hit right away with kind of the, the big citrus taste. Um, you get a bit of sweetness, but I would say if we're looking at mango, grapefruit, tangerine, probably more of a, a, a grapefruit taste to me because it's kind of like a, a bitter citrus taste. And I'm not a real big grapefruit fan. Yeah. Um, and then it gets sweet. Um, it's kind of weird. I was expecting it to be... Um, like hoppier and you get all those weird it's obviously like the citrus hops but it's not the same as that like like the nice piney hops that i tend to like um i, I don't really know what's going on with it i'm trying to look at my my notes here abv it's nine percent can you pick up the the alcohol um you know a little bit at the end it definitely does something funky like it gets like a bit dry and weird at the end there and it's like a a big punch of the um the hops but then you do taste a bit of the alcohol at the end um so I, I am not really, not really digging this a whole lot. Um, you know, I probably wouldn't drink another one of these. Now, that being said, I'm sure there are people out there that enjoy the big hoppier beers, the big IPAs, and, and this may be for you. Um, but for me, this one will get a thumbs down. I won't be drinking another one of these anytime soon. Not even sure if I'm going to finish this one. 
Um, like I said, you get all those those fruits, but they're kind of, it's like a big flavor. Um, and then it's kind of like thick and, and viscous, which isn't really appealing to me. And when you put all those things together, it just, it just doesn't work for me. So hopefully if you uh, like the review, you'll give me a thumbs up. You'll hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. As always, if you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Did I get it wrong? Have you tried this? Do you like other double or imperial IPAs? Maybe there's something else in this same range I should try instead of this one. Hey, till next time. Cheers.